Hey Edgewater Alliance Church family, Dave Lane here, and it's our opportunity to update you. And um, I have two questions I want you to think through in this update. The first question is, uh, when do you feel like you're being honored by someone else? When do you feel like someone is showing you honor? Second question, how do we show honor to those with whom we disagree? How do we show honor when we disagree with someone? See, because here's the reality. We all have the same questions, right? Who, what, when, where? Why? Fill in the blank. Who should wear a mask? When should they wear a mask? Where should they wear a mask? When should the church reassemble? How should the church reassemble? Who can come? When do we open up businesses? How do we open up businesses? What businesses get to open? And the questions keep coming. We all have the same questions. But what happens when we all have different answers to those same questions? How do we honor people that we disagree with? You know, um, a mentor of mine encouraged me to check out this message a church in Dayton, Ohio put together. And I love how uh, that pastor put things. He said, as he hears all of these questions about COVID-19, he's, he's lumped all the positions into three categories. Those who want to follow the spirit of the law, those who want to follow the letter of the law, and those who want to change the law, whether it's because it's too loose or it's too lax. And in your thinking in this shelter at home and in this uh, stop the curve season, you're fitting into one of these positions. We're going to follow the letter of it uh, precisely at every turn. Or, you know, we get the idea and we can apply it wisely in our life. Or, you know what, there, there's way too much restrictions. Or, hey, we're not being restrictive enough. And all of this is a recipe for disaster unless Christians know how to honor people they disagree with. Romans chapter 12, verse 10 Paul gives this admonition to followers of Jesus. Listen to what he says in Romans 12, 10. Be devoted to one another in brotherly love. Give preference to one another in honor. Give preference to one another in honor. One translation, the New Living Translation says, outdo one another in honoring each other. So I want to give us some practical ways we can honor each other when we find ourselves disagreeing. The default approach is to either try and convince someone of your position or to condemn someone when their position is not the same as your position. Or maybe some people are willing to compromise when two positions clash. But I want you to see an attitude we can bring that presents honor into the equation. Four ways we can honor one another. The first one is be humble. Humility considers the other person above self. Humility uh, stops condemning someone because of their response, doesn't trip them up because of their response, but considers their well-being uh, more important than our position. Paul would talk about this in Romans chapter 14. See, the disagreement was over diets and days. Some people honor one day over another. Some people uh, are willing to eat food sacrificed to idols. Some aren't. And all the debate over diets and days was creating a rift. And Paul is saying, no, 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 listen, give preference to your brother. And you don't even necessarily need to change your position on diets and days, on masks and gatherings, on law changes uh, or uh, compliance, on the church being persecuted or the church being too casual. You don't even have to change your position, but approach your position with humility, giving deference to the other person, giving honor, consideration that a person is more than the position they have. Second, uh, be positive. Believe the best about other people. 
Uh, two people were in a grocery store and one guy muttered under his mouth, uh, can people even read these days? And the woman nearest to him gently walked over and said, sir, I, I heard what you said and I can't help but think you meant me because I walked the wrong way down the grocery aisle and I just wanted you to know I didn't see the sign till after you said it and I'm sorry for any discomfort I caused you. And here's what this guy said, you know what, I'm irritable, I'm tired of being sheltered around all the people, what you did wasn't so horrible, I'm just so ticked off that it was an opportunity uh, to vent. And the interaction turned from negative and confrontational to positive. First Corinthians 13 says, love believes the best. One of the ways we can honor one another is to believe the best about each other, rather than assuming the worst. Three. Not only should we be humble, not only should we be positive, but be conversational rather than confrontational. When we're conversational, uh, the uh, rhetoric doesn't wrap up in the entrenchment of positions, but rather uh, light increases rather than heat. So when you find yourself disagreeing with someone about their position on who, what, when, where, how, and why, Choose conversation over confrontation. And number four, um, we can adjust. Uh, in other words, if you're with someone who tends to be, by your category, on the more fearful side, or by their category, on the more compliant side, rather than trying to convince, rather than condemning, rather than confronting, adjust who you are around them in a way that accommodates them. You may think it's completely unnecessary to wear a mask, but you are aware of someone who's very nervous, and so you wear them, even though you might think it's silly to wear a mask, you adjust in order to honor them. I think if we approach the tenseness of these times, attempting to outdo one another in honor, we will be a light wherever we live, work, and play. Your church family and your church leadership are trying to answer some of these questions of who, what, when, where, why, and how. Your elders will be gathering Monday night to try and hash some of it out. I am very confident that these men of God are going to approach it conversationally rather than confrontationally, that we're going to honor one another, and we're going to try and make decisions about reopening that uh, considers others before ourselves. So uh, be praying for us. Be uh, expecting some news about how we're going to reemerge as a church. And remember, outdo one another in honor. God bless you, Edgewater Alliance. Go be the church.